back to my YouTube channel. Um, thank you for joining us once more. So this uh, the afternoon I am going to focus on some gentle hip openers for us. So I'd like you to begin on your mat, sitting cross-legged. Allow yourself to come to the top end of your mat, legs crossed. Sit up nice and tall through the spine and just rest your hands wherever feel feel comfortable, feel most authentic to you. Lifting up towards the sky with the crown of the head. Back of the neck long and the shoulders are soft. Just allowing yourself to check in with the breath. And as we arrive into our practice, I'd just like us to take three lying breaths. So in through the nose and out through the mouth. Breathing in fully. Exhale. Let go. Inhale, maybe you feel those shoulders lift a little. And exhale. Let go. Drop the shoulders down the back. One more like that. And then just allow your breathing to drop back to your natural breathing pattern. And we begin to invite an Ujjayi breath into our practice. In and out through the nose. Just allowing that breath to be there. So remember the breath is there as we move through our practice. And any time the mind might wander or drift away, Simply observe, remind yourself the breath is there to help anchor you back into this present moment. Take it in breath and float the arms to the sky. Float, float, float those hands all the way up and touch the palms together, look to the thumbs. Exhale, we press the hands to the heart centre. Lift up through the crown of the head. Interlace the fingers and inhale, turn and reach to push those palms high. As you push the arms up and away from the body, Try to draw that lower rib cage towards each other and we look to the thumbs or maybe the little fingers if that feels available. Keep grounding down through those sit bones and then flip the palms to face the front, begin to tilt from the hips. We land the palms of the hands on the ground in front of us. Try to roll those inner elbows towards the front and maybe land the forearms if that feels available to you and just allow the head to hang heavy. Forehead toward the earth, push the seat bones back towards the ground. Shoulders away from the ears, and we're just beginning to feel that space coming into the hips already. Reach into the front with the crown of the head, and then long through the whole spine. Carefully begin to push into the palms of the hands, walk those hands back up. And touch the palms together as you breathe in, roll up through the spine. Reach the fingertips all the way to the spine, up to the thumbs. And exhale, we press the hands towards our heart centre once more. So from here, releasing the hands, switching the legs over. It's usually then that more uncomfortable version of our cross leg. Take that little rock side to side. And we ground down through the sit bones once more. Hands rest on the knees, palms facing the sky, shoulder blades are nice and soft, crown of the head lifts. Again, just taking another moment of stillness, shifting your awareness back to that Ujjayi breath. Sinking into the sit bones, softening into the hips. And take a breath in, sweep the arms to the sky. Collect all that energy around you into the palms. And exhale, we bring that energy into our heart centre. Thumbs pressing into the heart. Interlace the fingers. Inhale, turn and reach to push those palms high. Draw the belly button into the spine as we lift your gaze all the way upwards. Push the palms up and out, lengthening the whole arms and side body. And palms face the front as we tilt from the hips once more. Land the palms of the hands in front of us. Roll the elbows in to face the front. And land on the forearms if that feels available. Allow yourself to sink. Soften the upper body. Push back through the hips. Pushing into the palms of the hands, the forearms a little. The head is relaxed. 
But this time maybe take a little sway side to side. Just loosen off any tension we might be holding on to. Maybe gently bobbing the head up and down, swaying the head side to side. And come back into stillness. Begin to walk the hands into the centre. Palms touch as you inhale, roll up through the spine, rolling up through each vertebrae as we reach the fingertips high, look to the thumbs, exhale, hands, prayer position at our heart centre. We down release the hands, bring your knees together, drop your knees to the side and we come to tabletop position. So on your hands and knees, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips and just begin to do little circles with both shoulders. Shifting that weight side to side, wrist to wrist, hip to hip, and then back the opposite way. As you feel you're warming up a little, those circles might get a little bit bigger. And on your next one, take a breath out, sit back on the heels, slide the arms forward, and allow the forehead to come down to the earth. Coming into your first balasana, your first child's pose. Inhale, roll up through cat stretch, hips under, look to the belly button. Exhale, gaze between your hands, bend the elbows to the waist, float yourself all the way down, pinch, pinch, pinch those elbows in. Inhale, forehead and chest slide through, land the hips. Roll the shoulder blades down the back and pinch those elbows into the waist. Breathe out, push the hips to the heels, sit back, take balasana, take in child's pose once more. Hip to the heels, forehead to the earth. So two more like that. Inhale, round up through your cat stretch. Exhale, lower all the way down to the ground. Keep bending the elbows towards the body. Allow the forehead, the chest to come down. Inhale, forehead and chest slide through. Land the hips. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. Pinch the glutes. This time as you breathe out, we push into the hands, but we tuck the toes. And sit back on the heels. Hips to the heels, forehead towards the earth. Begin to fill this space for the soles of the feet and the toes. And maybe use extra space along the underarms also right now. Pressing into the palms of the hands, shifting the shoulders away from our ears. And inhale, roll up through your cat stretch. Exhale, gaze between your hands, lower all the way down, pinch the elbows to the body. Inhale, slide through into your cobra on top of those toes. You might feel a little more energetic, more waking up, and you can reach the chest a little further forward. Keep shifting those shoulder blades down the back. Stick with your cobra, elbows are bent in towards the waist. And this time as you breathe out your first down dog, we push that frown the weight up the toes. Push the hips to the heels, we lift the hips to the sky. Adho Savasana, coming into your first down dog. Step the feet roughly hip width apart, and take that dog for a little walk. Paddle through the heels of the feet and maybe roll the head side to side. However feels good for you. Begin to find stillness for the heels of the feet once you've paddled each foot equally. Lifting the hips up, back and down and drawing that lower rib cage towards each other. Ears between the upper arms. And inhale, float forward to plank. Really wave that whole body forward for each vertebrae of the spine. Shoulders are then stacked on top of the wrists. Gaze between your hands, push that ground away. Exhale, drop your knees, untuck the toes. Split the knees out to the side, the big toes stay together. And sit the hips back to the heels. Chest and the forehead float down. Coming into a wide leg child's pose. Reaching the arms forward. Bringing your awareness back to that ujjayi breath. And inhale, roll up through your cat stretch, look to the belly button. Exhale, rolling it all the way down, bend the elbows towards the body. And we inhale, forehead and chest comes through. Allow the feet just to come out, so the legs are just roughly on the inside of that mat now. We've got a nice wide stance. And roll the shoulders away from your ears. As you breathe out, down dog, push the ground away, tuck the toes. Lift the hips, stepping the feet roughly hip width apart, and the head is relaxed. Draw the belly button into the spine, the core nice and strong. 
and feet back in the hip width apart. Inhale, float the right leg to the sky. Push that right heel down. Square the chest down to the ground and try to level out the hips. So a lot of the time we do lift this leg nice and high and those hips align. This is fine, but right now I am going to square the hips down, square the chest down. Inhale, right foot comes forward on the outside of our right hand. Pushing that left heel away, shoulders are soft, gaze towards the thumbs, and then lower that left knee down to the ground and tuck the foot. To begin with here, it might be just a take a little sway side to side. Wiggle yourself into the hips. And then coming into stillness. Take a breath in, reach the right arm high. Exhale, reach the right fingertips to the back, the palm opens. Twist. Push through that left hand, look all the way down that right arm. Bring your right hand back to the sky and then land your right hand onto your right knee. Breathe in. As you exhale, push the right knee away, roll onto the outer edge of the right foot. See if you can straighten that right arm and look over the right shoulder. Checking in with the breath. Sinking into the hips. And we bring the left, the right knee, sorry, back in. Sole of that right foot down to the ground. Heel toe your right foot in so your hands can frame the feet. Inhale. Exhale, tuck the left foot, step the right foot back into your downward dog. Head is relaxed. Inhale, float forward into your plank. Option here as you breathe out to lower through chaturanga. If you do chaturanga, shoulders come slightly in front of the wrists and we lower all the way down to the ground. Pinching the elbows in and we hover a little off the ground. We push through the toes, the forehead, the chest lift, push into the hands, rolling onto the front of your feet. You might choose now to come into your first up dog. Up dog, the arms are straight, thighs off the ground, glutes are pinched. Or stick with your cobras, thighs, hips on the ground, elbows a little bit into the waist. And exhale, Adam of the Savasana, downward facing dog. The head is relaxed. Exactly the same on the opposite side, feet hip width apart. Inhale, left leg reaches. Breathing out, flex that foot, square the toes down to the ground. Draw the rib cage towards each other, the chest nice and square down to the earth. Lift your gaze forward between your hands and inhale, left foot forward outside of left hand. Pushing away with that right heel to begin with, the hips nice and low. Gaze between your hands so the whole spine is straight. And then we drop the right knee down to the ground, the foot goes flat. Take that little sway side to side again. Really creating that space into the body. Moving into any tension and wriggling yourself into that space. Come into stillness, right hand stays where it is. Inhale, left arm reaches. Exhale, reach those left fingertips to the back. Take a twist. Soften the shoulders, really reach away. Again, checking in with each in and out breath. Inhale, left arm all the way to the sky. Exhale, left hand onto that left knee, breathe in. Exhale, push the left knee away, roll onto the outer edge of that left foot is your option. See if you can straighten that left arm and take a twist, look over the left shoulder. Sink into those hips. Check in with the breath. And we bring this left foot in. Sole of the foot flat, heel toe that foot in. Lift up onto the fingertips, look forward. From here, inhale, step your right foot to meet your left halfway lift. And exhale, fold back in half, forward to the shin. So this is our first forward fold, maybe paddle through the knees a little. Option to roll the head side to side if that feels good. To see whatever feels good for you this today. From here, we bend both knees. Bring your chin to your chest, inhale, round up through the spine. Feel the soles of the feet really pushing that earth away as you sweep the arms to the sky. Collect all that energy around you once more into the palms of your hands. And exhale, we bring all that energy into our heart centre. Well done. Inhale, reach the arms high. Maybe a little back bend, lift your heart, your chest. Exhale, tilt forward from the hips, 
We fold all the way down the center line. Fold, fold, fold in half. Relax the hands, the head at the bottom. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, shoulders away from the knees. Exhale, chest, forehead down towards the mat. Land the hands on the ground, bend the knees, and inhale, step yourself back into your plank. As you exhale, drop your knees. Keep your toes tucked is your option. Begin to walk your hands towards your knees, and the hips are coming to sit on the heels, if that feels comfortable. If this is completely unavailable, you're very welcome to stay stand on your knees or always sit down. So automatically our tailbone will stick out and our chest will lift a little. Try to tilt the hips forward so that lower back becomes long. Shoulders are soft down the back. Press your hands to your heart center. Lift nice and high through the crown of the head. And then take a moment to close the eyes. Maybe you can feel your heartbeat against your thumb. Feeling the chest gently rise and then falling, where the breath is just naturally and calmly moving in and out of the body. Relax the hands. Bring yourself off your toes, drop your feet to the side, and reach those legs out in front of you. Give those toes, ankles a little wiggle off out. Maybe even give them a little squeeze just to release any tension you may have created. And then the legs nice and long. Take a little wiggle side to side so you can ground down through your sit bones, sitting nice and tall. Inhale, we reach all the way to the sky. Exhale, fold from the hips. Take in Paschimottanasana, your seated forward fold. Reach the hips to the back of your mat. Reach the crown of the head to the front of, your, of the room. Shoulder blades down the back. Try to connect your belly in with the thighs. So if you're quite a way off, the belly isn't touching the thighs, you're always welcome to bend these legs a little, connect the belly in with the thighs, and a nice option is to lace the hands around the backs of the legs, dropping your forehead down to the knees. Observing each in and out breath, really lengthening that whole back body. Wherever you are, releasing the hands. We begin to breathe in, roll up through the spine. Take the fingertips all the way to the sky, look up. And exhale, land the hands behind us. So, fingers facing in, wrists out. I know that isn't always comfortable, so you're very welcome to have your fingers out and wrists in if that feels more available. Step your heels of your feet roughly at width apart and bring the sole of your right foot to the mat, the arch of the foot roughly in line with your left knee. As we eat here, we're going to inhale, push through the hands, the right foot, the left heel, lift the hips. Try to get those left toes to touch the ground with the hips, the chest, and then just carefully drop your head back as if that feels good. Opening that whole front body, pinch the glutes, push the ground away. We breathe in, return your chin to your chest, and exhale, come all the way down to the ground, well down. Release those hands, give yourself a little wiggle up out. Slide your right heel nice and close to that right hip. So option to keep your right leg here, or if it feels comfortable to step your right leg over the left. Right hand comes behind us. Spread your chest, your hips to the front to begin with. Reach the left toes for the sky, and we breathe in and reach all the way up. Exhale, take a little leap forward. You might toe tap those left toes, and then hug that right thigh in. Draw it into the chest, take a twist through the waist, and then turn the chest, look over that right shoulder. Reach the left toes for the sky so the underneath left leg is still engaged. Really drawing the right thigh in towards the body. A variation of your half spinal twist. Just massaging all those internal organs. Releasing any toxins. Releasing the nervous system. Letting go of any stress or anxiety. And release. Carefully come back to this end and take a little counter twist the opposite direction. Lift the right hip, look over the left shoulder. And we come back, well done. Release that right leg down to the ground. Give yourself a little shake off that. Heels are still roughly at width apart. Arms are coming up 
And behind us once more, fingers in, fingers out, whichever is your, whichever one is good for you. Sole of the left foot to the ground, arch of the foot in line with the right knee. And when you breathe in, lift, open that front body. Right toes touch the ground, hips lift, chest lift. Dropping the head backwards, opening the throat, the heart chakra, pinching the glutes together. Checking in with the breath. We inhale and turn the chin to the chest. Exhale, come all the way down to the ground. Again, release those hands, maybe give them a little wiggle up out. And then option one, left heel towards the left hip, right toes touch the sky. They kind of, they, they point to the sky. Option two, left foot steps over the right leg, the toes still square into the front. Left hand coming behind us, sit nice and tall. So the closer this left wrist is to that left hip, the straighter our spine will sit. If you kind of plant that back, you'll be a little quite loud, you know. I'd like to keep our posture tall and positive. Right toes reach for the sky, breathe in, reach the right fingertips high. Exhale, reach the right hand forward, hug that left thigh in. Take a twist through the waist and look over the left shoulder. Keep drawing the back of the right knee down to the ground. Keep lifting up through the crown of the head. Maybe imagine there's a string at the crown of your head so the back of the neck feels long. That chest is parallel with your left side. And again, feeling the breath moving in and out of the body. Removing any toxins, letting go. And carefully release. Come back to the center, take your counter twist to the right side. And we come all the way back, release that left, that left leg, yeah. Give yourself a shake off out. And we're making our way into our relaxation. So separate those legs roughly mat width apart. And just begin to roll yourself all the way down. Nice and strong into that belly as you do the lower back, the upper back, middle back, shoulder blades, backs of the arms, backs of the hands. Coming into your final shavasana. You're welcome to have the legs long. If that's uncomfortable for your lower back, you're very welcome to have the soles of your feet on the ground. So that's more available for that lower back and maybe the knees rest towards each other. Always welcome to come into your recline band angle pose. Soles of the feet together, knees out to the side. Really surrendering those hips into gravity. So this is your practice, this is your body. Maybe if you come back to this practice another time, you, you might choose to do things slightly differently. Because every time we move our bodies, every day, our bodies, our minds are always feeling different. So there's no right, no wrong. Simply observe, take time to see how you feel. And right now, surrendering that physical body of yours completely into gravity. Relaxing from the tips of the toes all the way up from the fingertips all the way up to the shoulder blades, all the way up to the very crown of the head, the whole body, completely relaxed. And allow that mind to relax also. Any worries or concerns that may be creeping back, we just try to let go. Letting go of any of those worries or thoughts that try to control us. Letting go of any expectations that hold us back. And really find yourself right here, right now, in complete peace on your mat. Calm, still, relaxed. very welcome to stay in your relaxation for as long as you like. Hit pause and just allow yourself to stay here. Or very carefully bringing your awareness back to my voice. Bringing your awareness back to your surroundings. Hit 
picture it into your mind's eye, wiggle around you. Bringing your awareness back to your physical body. And carefully invite a little movement. Fingers, toes, wrists, ankles. Maybe even carefully rolling the head side to side. Bring the head back to the centre. Slide the arms and legs together. And inhale, reach the arms above the head. Point the toes, maybe arch the back, maybe take a little yawn as you just awaken that whole, whole body of yours. And ah, release. Float the arms down by the side. And just allow the body to find stillness for a moment. Before you rush off again, feeling the body surrender once more. Remember that you can take a moment like this any time you need. Slide the knees into the chest and give yourself a little cuddle. Thank yourself for taking time out to practice and thank that body of yours for the practice it's able to do. Send yourself all the love and kindness that you truly deserve. Take a little rock side to side, massage the lower back against the ground. Carefully rock onto your side. Either side right now is good. And then using your hands, push yourself up and bring yourself into a seated position to face the front. Sit however feels good. And our eye, close your eyes. The eyes are closed. Press your hands together at your heart centre. Concealing that great energy from your practice into your heart. Om Shanti.